Hi, welcome to Rainbow Gardens. My name is Robin, and today we are talking about companion planting and container gardening. So we're gonna talk mainly about tomatoes today, but um, here in uh, Central Texas, our soil can, you know, is very, a lot of our soil is very heavy clay. Uh, there's a lot of rock, like, you know, two feet below. Um, so a lot of people, like using containers for their vegetables because it makes things so much easier. So you can either use a 10 gallon or a 15 gallon pot, or we also have the fabric, fabric planters. So a 10 or a 15 would be good. The way I usually decide which kind I'm gonna use, if, or the size rather, if uh, it's a little later in the season, then I'm going to go with the smaller pot. If I've planted right when I am able to, beginning of the season, then I'm going to use the bigger pot. And that's just my personal preference. Companion planting. Companion planting refers to the practice of planting different crops in close proximity to each other to enhance the nutrient uptake, provide pest control, encourage population, and increase pro crop production. So there are some very specific plants that are recommended to go with tomatoes. Um, a few of those are amaranth, asparagus, basil, bean, borage, there's pot marigold, carrots, celery, chives, cosmos, cucumbers, garlic, lemon balm, lettuce, marigold, mint, nasturtiums, onion, parsley, peas, peas, excuse me, sage, and squash. Now amaranth, for instance, helps repel pests by attracting predatory beneficial insects, which is awesome. Garlic repels red spider mites. I didn't know that, that's great. And garlic spray actually helps control late light. Um, basil repels insects, improves growth, and enhances flavors. It repels mosquitoes and flies, even fruit flies. Uh, I actually planted basil uh, with my tomatoes this past spring, and they did excellent, and I had lots of um, dishes that had both basil and tomatoes in it, and it tasted fabulous. So I would definitely recommend the basil. And borage in hel helps improve the flavor and repels tomato hornworms. Now there are some bad companions for tomatoes. Um, that would be cabbage, dill. A mature dill plant apparently inhibits the tomato plant growth. So that's good to know. Eggplants are not good companion plants. Neither are peppers or potatoes. Fennel is not a good companion plant. Fennel secretes a substance uh, from its roots and that inhibits the tomato plant growth. So we definitely don't want to plant fennel in there with them. Uh, now I did want to mention also that parsley and basil were on the list. So I did have some basil here and some parsley. One thing I wanted to mention about the parsley is that they are a host plant for the black swallowtail. This is a baby, baby, First or second instar, probably second instar um, black swallowtail caterpillar. Now this one is in the later stages. They are the same caterpillar, but they look so different. So this is what an older one looks like. So just so you know, if you do plant that parsley and you start seeing those caterpillars on there, they turn into beautiful black swallowtail caterpillars and they're great pollinators. So tomatoes can actually help other plants as well. Uh, such as the asparagus plant, uh, tomatoes help repel the asparagus beetle. And roses. Tomatoes can protect roses from black spot and you can interplant or use a tomato spray. So we're gonna have a video about that coming up so make sure you stay tuned for that. So as within the ground, you're going to wanna make sure that you fertilize your tomatoes to get the most out of your tomato crop. Um, I like to use one specifically for tomatoes and vegetables, but you know, there's all purpose that you can use. So when I pour my soil in, I'm gonna mix some of this fertilizer in there before I even plant that plant, just when I'm mixing the soil in. And uh, it has directions on the bag for new container plants. So that's what I use. And then I like to go by 
every couple of weeks according to the directions and spray my plants with a liquid fertilizer as well. Also, some people do use certain sprays on their vegetables. Since I'm eating these, I don't want to put anything on there. That's my personal opinion. So I buy ladybugs. Uh, I buy the ladybugs and lacewing lace uh, combo, and I will let these out according to the directions late in the evening uh, after the sun's gone down. And they just eat up all sorts of pests in your garden. You really want to have these beneficial bugs in your garden. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the tomato spray for roses video coming up. Uh, leave us a comment, give us a like if you want to see more. And as always, happy gardening. Bye guys, thanks.